Hi everyone, today I'm going to be installing the Arc custom firmware using a web-based installation method um, on a couple of PSPs, a PSP 3000 that's going to use the Infinity bootloader and a PSP 2000 that's going to use the custom IPL bootloader. And I just want to show both bootloader options. So first up, we have a PSP 3000. First things first, we need to make sure that this PSP is running a firmware that's compatible with Arc custom firmware. So it needs to be 6.60 or 6.61. To check that, we go over to the settings and we go to system settings, all the way down to the bottom, system information. Okay, software version 6.61, this one is good to go. If it needed an update, we could do that right here from System Update and update via the internet. That's the easy way. Assuming you have internet access, that's probably the hard part for most people is getting infrastructure internet working on a PSP. The PSP only supports WPA and on some older firmware, it may only support WEP level encryption. These are ancient ancient security protocols from the 90s and early 2000s that most modern routers have disabled by default. So you may have to go and turn those on. You may have to set up a secondary Wi-Fi router, but um, that's a video for another day. So I'm going to go over to my internet browser and I'm going to go to my portal. My portal is at psp.lucidgames.com, L-U-S-I-D. And we will just have to enter that in here. I might have it in history. Save you from watching me type. Yes, there it is. So psp.lucidgames.com. Um, you'll have to enter it in on the on-screen keyboard. Now the on-screen keyboard that we're showing here, this is the version for entering URLs. It's got the HTTP on the one corner and the .com on the other, so less typing. If you're not seeing that one, push the select button to cycle through all the different on-screen keyboards until you get back to the URL address entry keyboard. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the site. I'll push triangle to get out of the menu. And on the PSP browser, if you haven't used it, the analog stick is your mouse. So I'll go to custom firmware, and there are two things I need. Once you're in a page like this, you can use up and down on the D-pad to navigate around. So I'm going to download the installer for Arc. And we'll watch that pull down two files. The eBoot, which is the extractor, and the data.zip, which is all of the uh, application contents. And then we need the Infinity installer. This will just download the eBoot. Now we're specifically using the Infinity 2.05. This is the version that has been updated to support ARC as one of its options. Those are downloaded. Now back to the XMB. In my memory stick, I now have these two options. I have the Arc Installer and Infinity 2. I'll start with the Arc Installer, because the archive is still zipped. I need to unzip that. So it's going to extract that archive onto the memory card. Arc installs most of its content in the save data folder that you can see on screen. And then there's also an Arc launcher that will launch us into that custom firmware and uh, install a couple of files to flash. It installs six, I believe, files to the flash. 
Okay, so now we have an arc loader, not the arc installer now, this is the loader, and we have infinity 2. I'm going to start with infinity 2, since I know I'm going to use it anyway. infinity 2.05. Push X to install and X again to reboot. Alright, I'll show you what that did. If I go over to System Settings, see I'm still on original firmware. I'm not running a custom firmware yet. But I now have the Infinity logo after my version string. So that tells me that the Infinity loader is installed. And back to the memory stick. This time I will run the arc loader. And now we are in arc. When I push select, we get the arc VSH menu. One more step to make it permanent so that this will um, auto boot into Arc when I turn it on. So I'm going back into Infinity. Now it's not giving me the option to install because it's already installed. But if I go to the left, now it's going to give me the three different firmwares that it supports. I'm going to scroll down to Arc and then push X. And now I get the little dot next to Arc that tells me it's going to auto boot into Arc. And then I'll just exit out, push home, and then X to enter. And now we'll do a hard reset just to make sure it auto boots into Arc. Yes, we auto booted into Arc. Now, Arc does install uh, several of its files onto the memory stick in the save data folder. So if you're swapping memory sticks around, you're going to want to copy that save data folder over to your other memory cards so that those are available as you swap them in and out, just like you would with plugins. Uh, maybe I'll do another video on plugins because that works a little differently in Arc. Okay, this one is good to go. Let's move on to the 2000. Again, check the firmware version just to make sure. Now, if you wanted to be consistent, you could use Infinity on any PSP. It just boots slightly slower than running the custom IPL, so I like to use the custom IPL on all the models that support it. That's just personal preference. You can do whatever works for you. So again, I'm already current, so I don't need to do a system update. 
I just need to go back to the internet browser and I have pre-configured this one to connect to my Wi-Fi, I think, so I shouldn't have to type that in. And it's probably in my history. Yep, PSP portal. And just like before, go over to custom firmware. Okay, I'm downloading the installer. And this time, instead of using Infinity, I'm going to use the custom IPL for 1,000 or 2,000 only. This has a total of three files that it downloads, so you see a few prompts here. Okay, now we have the CIPL flasher and the ARC installer. So just like before, I'm going to run the installer to extract all of the files and install them onto the memory stick. So I'm going to do uh, in the opposite order this time. I'm going to do the arc loader first. And if you were doing an upgrade from Pro, this is how you would do it. You would do the loader first, and then you would install Arc's CIPL. Um, or if you were doing Infinity, you would do Infinity first, install Arc's version of Infinity, and then do the upgrade and switch it over. Same basic process. Oh, now it's finding ISOs that were on this memory card. Isn't that fun? Okay, so I'm in ARC now. I'll do the flasher. Push X to install. And we've rebooted. We're in, in Arc. I'm going to do a hard reset just to verify that this auto boots into Arc. And it did, so we are good to go on these two consoles. So this is the, the two workflows for setting up a new PSP on Arc that doesn't have any custom firmware loaded. Um, if you want me to do a video showing the upgrade scenarios, going from um, an existing Pro or an existing Infinity install for ME or um, the Pro CFW or Pro Mod or any of those. Yeah, let me know. I can knock out a video for that too. Uh, thank you for watching. Let's go play some games.